they have to have that willingness to learn um, the hunger, but they also, like Kelly said, need to be mechanically inclined. And then these guys pick it up really quick and they're excited about the opportunity of learning and helping and growing. Well, because it's a career, right? So you know, a lot of guys that maybe go into the trades, they don't look at it as a career. They look at it as more of a job. But mm -hmm. if you can create that that sense of, this is a career, this is an important career, and it's a career that, that I can have my entire life and I can make a lot of money, um, offer a great service. And I mean, most, most guys, I think that, again, that don't go to college or aren't on a college track would love to feel like they've got a career. Right. Right. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 367th episode of Potty Talk Live. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura. Hello. Where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. And I've looking, been looking forward to this episode yeah. of Potty Talk Live. This is a power tools edition, mm -hmm. all right, where we, we're, we're offering up uh, business solutions. You know, one, one of the, the concerns that we have is is a hiring always looking for you know good plumbers right. you know so if you've heard me say it, if you haven't heard me say it, you can hear me say it now <laughs> recruit 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 we're always recruiting mm -hmm. all right yep. well today we have recruiting hiring and retaining experts mm -hmm. um on with us we we'll yes. get a chance to talk with them we have uh is work with your hands the company is okay. called work with your hands the company's called work with your hands mm -hmm. and uh was kelly pressgrave mm -hmm. all right dana hopkins mm -hmm. are, are the owners mm -hmm. founders all right mm -hmm. sharp cookies mm -hmm. all right when i say they're experts they are experts mm -hmm. all right but uh i mean it's cool work with your hands is an industry leader in recruiting for residential service companies such as Plumbing companies. Plumbing companies. All right. They've, <laughs> they've been great with our clients. Yeah. All right. All right. They've been very successful uh, since their conception in 2018 and have helped businesses across the country find the talent they need to help grow their company. The number one position we have helped to hire is plumbers. Imagine that. Imagine that. But they're also <laughs> experts at finding HVAC techs and electricians and you know, those guys are okay as well. <laughs> but your office staff and management, such as GM, we just mm -hmm. had a couple of our clients that got a couple GMs, right. all right? Or they each, yeah. Right, for, for a couple of our clients, mm -hmm. all right? So they can they, can, they got you covered. Exactly. All right? Mm -hmm. So the experts we have, we have Dana Hutchin is the, the chief people officer. I love that title. That's a great title. Cool title. Is it Hutchins or Hopkins? Um, Hutchin. Hutchin, okay. Hutchin, I all right? I, I think I said her name I, wrong I just earlier. Know her Sorry. Name. It's Dana, <laughs> all right? All right? So, you know, she, she works, uh, she's all about the people, maintain and train the, the work with your hand staff. Mm -hmm. In addition, she fa facilitates and oversees all the processes and procedures that guarantee that they are successful for their clients. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. And then we have Kelly Pressgrave as the CEO and controls the financial and marketing efforts of the business and business development. She manages the business at a higher level to ensure all the moving parts are working in continuity. Continuity. Con and continuity. 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 Right, right. Okay. Awesome. So there we go. That's our guest okay. on today. I can't, we'll, we'll have them here in a the moment. They're, okay. they're in the green room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, before, let me let me get to uh, thank our sponsor here. Okay. Okay, introduce our sponsor. Kick Charge. Hey, let's face it. Plumbing companies are a dime a dozen. And Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. Now, it may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's true. People do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So your logo and truck design are vital to making sure you not only stand out in the crowd, but will, but will be remembered. Kick Charge Creative is the plumbing industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency and has been instrumental in getting plumbers just like you noticed for over 20 years. So they, they've been around for a while mm -hmm. and around the block a few times. In fact, Kick Charge has helped my clients, such as Works Plumbing in San Francisco, increase their revenue by 66% in less than one year. Nice. Pretty, mm -hmm. pretty good. Mm -hmm. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Kick Charge. All right. And get noticed today. Okay. So there we go. Okay. All right. Kick Charge it. All right. Hey, I want, let's just get to it here. Let's I want to get our expert, experts in here. Okay, let's do it. And uh, let's bring them in. All right. Hey, welcome. Welcome. We have, as promised here, we have Kelly Pressgrave and Ms. Dana Hutchin of Work With Your Hands. Owners, founders, Work With Your Hands. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, thanks, ladies. Yeah, thanks, for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. All right. Absolutely. Right. Really excited to have mm -hmm. these ladies in here because we, we know that one of our, as you know, we were talking about, one of the big concerns is, you know, finding good plumbers. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things we always say here 
and I'm, I'm sure you ladies have heard this as well, is recruit, recruit, recruit. Never stop. Never stop. Always be recruiting, mm -hmm. all right? And so um, I'm excited to uh, have this conversation. Mm -hmm. So, all right. again, thanks for being here, guys. Mm -hmm. All right? Guys, ladies, yes. whatever I'm saying. Guys. <laughs> I call everyone guys. I know. That's okay. okay. All right. <laughs> Well, good. Hey, question for you. Before we get into uh, work with your hands, what is the, we're coming out of, you know, as we're, we're uh, recording this at this time, um, you know, we're coming out of the COVID, you know, lockdown and all, you know, those kinds of things. And, you know, that's kind of been the, the crazy concern. time. Yeah, crazy mm -hmm. time, you know, the business and, you know, as we're trying to grow our plumbing businesses, um, one of the concerns is finding good guys, you know, good plumbers out there, you know, guys and gals. Are there, what is the state of, uh, you know, the environment out there, being able to find find plumbers in our case the state of the union there we go give us the state <laughs> of the union right according to work with your hands right. well we all know the shortage of plumbers is because i mean two parts right the workforce is aging out the plumbers are getting yeah. old and they're um they're retiring and we all know that 10 years ago there was a big push maybe more there was a big push to not entering the trades but everybody needed to go to college mm -hmm. And so everybody's entering college and incurring this hundred thousand dollar debt at least. Yeah. And there were no up and coming apprentices or tradespeople. So it's definitely impacted the landscape of the technicians as a whole. And now we see it shifting a little bit. People are graduating with degrees and there's no jobs for them, or they're doing things that they didn't go to school for, or they entered school and they knew they weren't good, that they were better at working with their hands mm -hmm. and they should have entered the trades. And so we're seeing it pick up a little bit, but there's definitely that lag of the 10, 15 years where there's not the, you know, 30 year old kids all have these college degrees that they're not, they're not using and they're realizing they made a mistake. So we're seeing it pick up a little bit. We're seeing a lot of support for entering the trades. Um, we work with trade schools. We, um, a lot of our clients go into high schools for career days to show them what the options are and that they can make really good money right off the bat and not have that hundred, two hundred thousand dollars $200,000 debt from going to college. Yeah. Who, we just met some talking recently, uh, with, with some new friends and they were talking, how we got into conversation, but they're talking to send their kids to school and the son's school and the, the son didn't really know what he wanted to do and that kind of a thing. And I said, well, you ever thought about, thought right. about the trades, mm -hmm. right. you know, and it's specifically, you know, it's like in plumbing, even, you know, HVAC, whatever the trade is, right. we, we, you know, we have a heart for plumbers we do. and plumbing, right? right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but literally, you know, you don't get in debt to go in, you know, you'll be a, a plumbing company will pay for you to go to school or the trade school. Right. And so you're making money while you're learning the trade. Exactly. You, you can come out and you can make, you know, six figures. And you'll always have a job. You always have, right. Always have a job. Earn while you right. learn is a great program, right? It's a great way to have the apprentices and advertise the jobs or attract the people. You're earning money while you're learning a career. Mm -hmm. So I think that a lot of people are definitely shifting. But you know, what's crazy is I have a high school senior and I've taught myself not to say to her, her friends, whatever, where are you going to college or what schools are you applying to? It's what is your, what are you going to do after high school? What is your plan? Because it doesn't have to be college. And hopefully for these people that aren't school tracked or schooling, formal schooling right. is for them. And they're more tactile learners or visual learners, or they like tinkering with things. The trades is a great opportunity for them that I think people are, are coming more to realize. Yeah. Yes. Now, I, I, you know, I always, that is the big concern of, of finding that there's not enough plumbers out there in, in the case for, you know, for, for plumbing companies. Mm -hmm. But I, you know, I, you know, I've been in the industry for 30 years, over 30 years, and it's always been difficult finding plumbers. Mm -hmm. It has always been, now there's, there's waves of that, but, but certainly there is something about, you know, we've seen in the past years here where, yeah, it's they're pushing college. Much more, yeah, much and, more difficult. Right. And mm -hmm. So, yeah. So the learn while you earn, have you found that a lot of companies do that? Or, or what are some things that um, a company can make yeah. themselves more attractive to um, either you know, recruiting plumbers that are already plumbers, but then also the, the younger people, right? I think it's twofold. So for, for, for current, you know, experienced plumbers that are already in the field, um, the things that, um, and a lot of the million dollar plumber of our million dollar plumber clients do these great things, which are 
fabulous and they make a huge difference. It's a concentration on work-life balance. So there's no on-call, there's no weekend work, there's no night work. And um, we're seeing that the, you know, it speaks to the experienced plumber, but it also speaks to that up and coming plumber who the next generation, that's what they really want is that work-life balance. So being able to incentivize people to come to your company, um, when you provide those things, those no on call, that's huge. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that, um, that definitely you want to, if you can, not every plumbing company can offer that. I mean, a lot of the companies out there, they already, they've been in business for a long time. Their customers are used to having a certain amount of hours and it would, you can't do that. So then, you know, you want to concentrate on definitely the, the, earn to, the learning, like the apprenticeship academies, we are seeing that. So um, being able to push people into an apprenticeship academy then getting them in the truck within like three to six months. Mm. So if they're super mechanically inclined, then they can apprenticeship quickly and get on the road, get them in a truck and get them earning. Mm. Um, pushing that through really quickly, that's huge for those apprentices. Um, and we're seeing people crossing over, coming out of auto mechanics or you know maybe they were appliance repair, something like that. They can learn really quickly. They don't have to be... Um, you know, you can train them and get them out in the truck pretty quickly. So you're seeing that, I know you work with a lot, you, you know, work with your hands, works with a lot of um, home service companies, um, yes. you know, mom and pop shops all the way to, uh, I think, I think you have some hundred truck shops or even bigger. I mean, you, you work with some big shops. So do, do you see that, that, that that's kind of the trend where we may take someone who's more green but mm -hmm. mechanically inclined and just get them, you know, um, you know, you know, teach them some skills and then get them in the truck, making money as soon as possible. And then, and then grow from there. A hundred percent. continuous learning true. as well. Yeah. They, so they go out, they might do ride alongs and learn, you know, get some training, do ride alongs, start with a simple drain call or just to make sure they have to have those soft skills, right? They have to be able to communicate with the customers. We know right. that, a large percentage of the customers that they come in contact with are females. So we need to make sure that that the female, a female is comfortable talking to them or letting them in their right. home. <laughs> we a talk, lot of, right? We talk so, about that all We talk time. about that a lot. <laughs> the factor, right? Yeah, the creep, the creep factor, factor, right. Yes. <laughs> we know that now, thanks right. to a lot of the million dollar <laughs> clients. Um, yeah. it, but that's really important. They have to have that willingness to learn um, the hunger but they also, like Kelly said, need to be mechanically inclined. And then these guys pick it up really quick mm -hmm. and they're excited about the opportunity of learning and helping and growing. Mm -hmm. Well, because it's a career, right? Yeah. So you know, a lot of guys that maybe go into the trades, they don't look at it as a career. They look at it as more of a job. But mm -hmm. if you can create that that sense of this is a career, this is an important career, and it's a career that, that I can have my entire life and I can make a lot of money um, offer a great service and i mean most most guys i think that again that don't go to college or aren't on a college track would would love to feel like they've got a career right right so yes and we have seen like a little bit of a shift in attitude um just uh, across the um you know population where it's there you can take pride in being a plumber Thank so you. there's nothing, you know, there's, you, you should be proud of that. And learning that trade is something that, um, that you can have a great career. You can provide a really good living and a lot of things, everything that you need for your family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you should, it's, we're seeing that more and more. I sure. love that. Thanks for saying that Kelly yes. too, because that's, that's part of our heart with million dollar plumber is to build the, the, the um, reputation of, of plumbers up. We don't have to be butt crack plumbers, right? <laughs> we can actually be professional, right. um, community serviced plumbers that go in and do a, a great job to service the customer, right? Um, you, and you can be professional. You can go in with a clean uniform. You can go in with, with you know, um, clean hands and you don't have to be, I'm sorry, this thing drives me crazy. I don't know if you guys have seen the truck um, where it's got the toilet in the driver's seat right painted yeah. on the outside of the truck and 
Okay, guys, if that's you, please stop. Right. All you're doing is lowering the trade. You're lowering the trade. You're lowering your worth, and you're hurting everybody else out there. The all the other plumbers. Oh, that just that's it right. literally makes me crazy because it is an honorable profession, right. and it is a good career. Yes. So, yeah, uh, thank you for sure. Yes. Exactly. Right. Low, pull your pants up. <laughs> Put right. a belt on. Right. Right. Oh, They're making goodness. a mockery of it. If they, I've never seen that truck, but that's like not, you're not professional. And then are you proud to drive around in a truck with a toilet on your door? Exactly. Right. That looks like you're sitting on a toilet. Right. I mean, it's just, that just, <laughs> so all you're doing, again, you're just lowering your value. So when you go into Mrs. Jones's house and, you know, you tell her that it's, you know, whatever, some price, well, that's just ridiculous. Well, yeah, because you look like you sh shouldn't charge more than right. a buck right. 50 an hour. Right. Exactly. right. So. Yeah. Right. Okay. Exactly. I'm done. Yes. Yeah, I know. I'm proud. You know, a lot of us, you know, I, I never thought I'd, you know, I never dreamt of becoming a plumber. Mm -hmm. You know, we've talked about this before. It wasn't on my top 100 list even, <laughs> you know, I, you know, I had, I had ballet dancer before even plumbering <laughs> showed up, you know, I, so, and that's for real. You know, <laughs> I, I just lost some of my man card. You kind of did. I didn't <laughs> even know that. <laughs> you know, but, um, and so, but it's been a great, it's been a great career. Mm -hmm. It's been such right. a blessing mm -hmm. and it is needed. You know, we just saw this with the whole lockdown stuff. I know if you saw right, this essential. across with the companies that you work with, uh, the home service companies you work with, the plumbing companies, mm -hmm. you know, all of our clients actually, you know, many had record, record months, mm -hmm. record year, right. more work yep. or whatever, because right. it wasn't, it was, it was you know, essential, mm -hmm. you know, all workers are essential of in course. our opinion <laughs> and all work is essential, mm -hmm. but right. you could see, you know, you know, that, that this was, you know, listed as essential and it was needed. Yes. And, uh, Absolutely. and so, you know, mm -hmm. I'm proud to be a plumber. All right. Hey, we'll get back to, to our experts here, but first I have something for you for joining us here. That's my million, million dollar plumber blueprint in it. I lay out the exact specs you need to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. All right. And then I, did I mention that it's free? I think you may have. It's free. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So grab it. All right. Simply uh, go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash free free. All right. Yes, and grab your free. free copy of the million dollar plumber blueprint and start plumbing like a champion today. So what are some yeah. other things um, yes. that companies can do or that you see that has been really unique? I mean, we know that we, yeah. we always preach um, no on call, you know, um, no weekends, all of that, which, which we did for years. What are some other things that you're seeing that the companies are doing? Um, what we're seeing are anything that you can build culture. So, you know, if you're taking your team, if they have a great month, maybe you go deep sea fishing, you go to top golf. Um, if you Axe throwing. I've seen that. Axe throwing. <laughs> exactly. that's, right. that's the new, right? That's yes. New skeet shooting, you know, something that everybody can do. Um, it's a fun event, builds your team up and shows that you really care. We have a client, um, one of your members that's um, has a softball tournament and they have a softball team. That seems like really fun. Mm -hmm. um, some of the other things, food truck Friday. So have some, food Oh, that's a good idea. Your, yeah. Have some food trucks come and feed everybody, especially if you have an all team meeting and everyone's there, then everyone yep. can, can benefit from it. Um, definitely having a good bonus structure. Um, we do think that um, there's some companies that can do unlimited PTO. Not everybody can do that. So that makes a difference. Good spiffs. And one of your other, we, a lot of your members have some really good ideas. Um, one of the SPIF programs that we really liked was, you know, for a Google review, the SPIF program went on for six months, but the person who got the most Google reviews got a vacation yep. with extra PTO and a paid Airbnb. Hmm. That was something that we've never heard of. That was wow. above and beyond. So anything that's creative like that, um, I think gets people really engaged and shows that you really care as an owner that you want them to um, be rewarded for um, for their Google reviews, which is a reward because they did a great job. And Mrs. Jones is really happy with what they provide. Mm -hmm. Yes. Win, win, win. Anything above and beyond, anything above and beyond your paycheck, right? Anything above and beyond that lets them know that they're valued. So we talk to people all the time and and their biggest complaint, a lot of them is, I, I don't think I'm appreciated. I'm just a number and I'm working, you know, I have no work-life balance. We just had someone recently quit because he worked until 10 o'clock, three nights in a row. And <sighs> how is he supposed, and then he's supposed to get up and work again, run his first call at eight in the morning the next day. And where, right. where is the appreciativeness of that employee? Right. And so- <clears throat> 
they want they want to feel like they're making a difference. They want to feel like they're appreciated and then being recognized, yes. you know, recognition. So if you're working your tail off, um, it goes a long way to just say that we're recognizing the the contribution you're making to the bottom line and um and that you're doing a really good job. Mm-hmm. So it's it really is a lot of the things outside of a paycheck, the things that you can do. Um, just verbalizing that you really appreciate them, but definitely the food trucks and um, sponsoring maybe a youth team. So if you're, if your um, employees, you know, maybe one of the children on, of your employees play softball or basketball or whatever you sponsor that team, mm-hmm. that's not something that costs a lot of money and can go a long way. Absolutely. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and it's different thing. too. Do you see too yeah. with the, the younger, younger folks these yeah. days, right? It's different than when, you know, even when you were in the truck a long yeah, time I'm, ago. I'm, I'm the old school. I have to catch myself. And, you know, if you're talking, you know, I, I come from the, the, the old trenches mm-hmm. where you did work to 10 o'clock at night, mm-hmm. you know, well, without, yeah, w- w- without a thank you. It was just mm-hmm. expected. That was the job. And, sure. and that was the job. And I don't know if that's, I don't necessarily believe that's the, necessarily the right way. The right way. The right, right way. Um, but I bet it has, there is a sense that, that the, that the employee, the younger generation has, wants that. They want right. to feel a sense of culture and community and they want to be More, appreciated. Right. And you can rail against it all you right, want. Right. But it's it's the generation. It's it's what it is, right? Exactly. That's it is what it is. That's what they, they want to be recognized. And that's fine. They're doing a great job, right? They're out there servicing your customers and they just mm-hmm. want to be thanked. And the little, like Kelly said, little things go a long way. And it's the personal touches that make the company different from every other residential home service company there is. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what we're really good at when we're speaking with candidates. We're selling our client as the industry leader because we get to know them and we highlight what makes them different. And what is it about, like, is there a food truck Friday that your company doesn't have that? If you go out and you do a great job and Mrs. Jones lets your supervisor know, you're going to be rewarded. And because you did what you were supposed to do. And that's awesome. So it, it definitely has shifted a whole lot. Love hearing yeah. that. Now, I thought I, of another one too. You're yeah, go ahead. You have another million dollar plumber client that yeah. does credit. Um, they do um, credit. Um, uh, they teach their staff how to increase uh, their credit scores. Right. And um, I thought that that's, again, that's something that we've never heard of. Mm-hmm. And um, that was a million dollar plumber client. That was yeah, fantastic. They handle their money. Yep. Yeah. We know who yep. did that too. Yep. Yes. Um, yep. And there's, there's nothing, there's no cost to that. There's no, no. there's just, there's no cost to that. And that's what leads to, you know, you mentioned, um, you know, that is the thing. A lot of times we feel like a number and that's a complaint we've heard too. Mm-hmm. And, and the big companies are attractive. You know, I know you, you have, you have big clients and it could be attractive because there's a lot going on. They got a lot of stuff and you think there's a lot of work, all that. So that could feel that that's attractive, but it's, I, and I think those companies have to work harder at making their people not feel like a number where the smaller companies like our, our small <laughs> companies, I think we have a huge opportunity to attract. Sometimes we think, well, we can't get the good guys because they all, they want to work with the big companies, mm-hmm. but, but I think it's, I believe it's the opposite. We have a, a huge opportunity. I think that it can be even easier for us to make them feel as part of the family, part of a team, mm-hmm. to be able to, rec- to, so they feel recognized mm-hmm. and can be recognized. Right. Well, yeah. So for small, yeah, for smaller companies, um, do you see that, that, they you know, they're able to offer some of those things if guys are looking for, um, you know, community or recognition or whatever, that right. they might be more attracted to the smaller firms, right? Which, you know, a lot of the, the, Potty talk listeners are are smaller smaller shops are growing and and trying to figure out how how do can I can compete in the market. But yet that that's the big fear. We hear that a lot. That's the big fear and concern that, that you know there's not a lot of guys out there anyways. But they want to work for the big companies. I don't think that's necessarily true. Yeah. What what do what have you experienced? Definitely, I don't. I think there's an advantage for a smaller company, and that's one of the things is being part of that growth story. So you're there setting the foundation. You're helping to set the foundation of the culture. You're there on the ground. At, you know when the everything's being established. So you have the growth opportunity. Maybe you will be a general manager someday. Maybe you just start out as a you know, you're a plumber. Maybe you, if you have those aspirations to be management, you can be a plumbing supervisor, assistant plumbing manager. You can move up through the ranks if you want right. to, but you have the opportunities to, um, for me, I would think, you know, when we 
when we're hearing, especially, um, you know, somebody who's coming from a bigger company to a smaller company, you get to be part of that growth story. You get to be part of that ground, the breaking the ground right. on the ground floor on, on building up that culture. Um, and that's huge. And that's, that's a great way to put it too, because um, a lot of the guys would be like, well, you know, you can come work for me, but I'm just a small, it's just me and another guy and blah, blah, blah. No, turn it around, right? right. Turn it completely. And Exciting. the way you said it, yeah, right. the way you said it, Kelly, was perfect. So, yeah, come be a part of, cast mm -hmm. the vision. Right. Right. Yes, yes, because the growth is there for all these companies. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the sky's the limit on how big you want to be. Absolutely. You know? right. so. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Seen it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, so what? what is, let me... What is what is something that I do as a small company that's that's a mistake that's a that's a, a turnoff to attracting um, having the mentality like you like you just said we're so small we can't yeah. compete with these big guys be the big rooster or the peacock or whatever that right. say you you have your company you know what you're doing you've got customers that are repeat customers you've made a name for yourself be proud of it and. Don't kowtow, whatever that word. I'm not really good at these. Like, right. you're, <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing. Great. Don't kowtow to the big guys because right. they're not the best. Just because they're big doesn't mean they're the best, right? You're be proud of who you are is what I would say. Yes, that's good. Yes, yes. Go ahead. For sure, and also, um, uh, you know, for for them, don't. You, when you have a customer, I've heard on one of your other podcasts, you want to get the customer done today. Like you want to have that call, get the call done today. It's kind of the same with your candidates. Get the candidate in the door as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So we see things really move really fast with um, candidates. If they're applying for a job on the weekend, they do their interviews on Monday or Tuesday, they have a job by the end of that week oh, sure. um, or multiple offers even. Mm -hmm. So be as fast as you are to book a call, be as fast as you can be to interview these plumbers. And I, it, sometimes it's not possible but just be as fast as you can because they'll be gone. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. And I, even if you don't need a plumber, even if right now your phones are slow and you've got guys yeah. kind of sitting around, always be recruiting. recruiting. Talk right. to everybody. Stop. Yeah, talk always to everybody. Be talking. Right. Because you, know? you never know. You exactly. never know where they might fit in. You never know what if you're, you know, Joe the plumber might quit. You never know. Right. So mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Joe the plumber. Joe the plumber. That's right. <laughs> right? Right, right. That's that's a throwback for right. about fifteen years ago. Right, right. So okay, so work with your hands. Yes. So what? How can work with your hands help me with my plumbing business? Uh, we we would love to we would love to work with companies small and large. I mean, you can have two plumbers on your staff, one plumber, and we can help you build build your build your bench, build your company up. If you midsize, you need a general manager, you now need a call center manager. Maybe you're just at the point where you just need a couple of CSRs. We can very, we can help you. Um, we're a subscription-based model. So the way we built out our company is that we want a long-term partners. We want someone that we can work with for a really long time. We'll get to know all the people in your area. We'll get to know every single plumber in your area and we'll have, have that communication. We'll have that connection so that we're able to constantly feed you um, the technicians you need. And, and also the, you know, dispatchers as you grow, all those, as the companies grow, there's all those extra positions that they need. And we're well-versed in all, in everything that it takes to run a residential service company. It's a lot more infrastructure as you get bigger. So oh, but I definitely. also think we're super successful because we get to know our clients. So we get to know them. We know, like Kelly said earlier, we have several million dollar plumbing companies that do these really unique, awesome things that we get excited to share with the candidates. So that's how another way that we help, right? We know your company. We yep. talk to everybody, like she said, we sell them as industry leader and we just help feed, like give you feedback about what we're hearing. If you're paying your CSRs 15 to $17 an hour, that's not what the market is, is bearing right now. It's a little bit higher. So we're going to let you know, we've interviewed 
12 people and they won't take your money, you know, or they don't, this isn't the commission, the salary is right. not acceptable, right. or they don't want to work nights and weekends. They want to work eight to five Monday through Friday. Or, so I think that's how we help our people, you know, our clients be successful as well. We get to know them and we love our relationships with them. And the more that we get to know them and the longer we work with them, the more we know them and the better we are at recruiting and understanding the culture and everything that they are looking for. We have weekly check-ins with each one of our clients where we go over all the candidates that are in the database, but we also talk and get to know you and listen to what you're saying that you're not saying or what your needs are going to be upcoming so that we could start planning to help. So we, um, relationships are really important to us. And that's the only way that we can be successful, really. And you guys can do all the front end work. So that, that takes it off of the the plumbing business owner, right? You're, right? you're doing all the initial interviewing and screening and, and all the things and bringing to the plumbing business owner candidates that they want, right? A hundred percent. We can exactly. vet the candidates, but we're also posting the jobs. Um, we can integrate the jobs on your website. So if you, you know, you're paying a lot for SEO, everyone pays a lot to, to, to rank. Um, so you might as well have your jobs on your website. So if someone goes there that they can, they can apply. So we have that integration if you, if, if the customer wants to use it, but, um, but, but yes, we can, um, we can help facilitate. There's so many things we can help uh, residential companies with and, it's it's so much fun. We love what we do, <laughs> uh, and it's and it's obvious. It is obvious. Yes, because I have to say, you know, we do have we do have a history, mm -hmm. and and um, uh, they work with some of our clients. They, yeah, they like work. They mentioned. Yeah, mm -hmm. they work with a good good portion of our clients, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's been exactly that. They do get to know new our our clients, mm -hmm. um, which which is very important. And, and I the like the nuances. And, mm -hmm. and I like um, that you mentioned, it, this is a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. what you're desiring because this is really, um, you know, you need to be recruiting all the time, but as you're constantly looking, it, it is a long-term, um, not, not only relationship, but a, but a, you know, a long-term effort. Absolutely. Yeah. It's just not right. one off. I need to get a plumber. So, right. you know, I'll use you guys and then I'll get a plumber and then go my merry way. That's, that's not, that's not it. And that's not what you want. I mean, you right. want an HR a, a kind of an offsite HR company mm -hmm. department that's that's handling it for you so right yeah we okay. want to take all that off the plumber that it so many of the owners of the companies are doing that when that's not something it's not that it's above their pay grade but they don't have time for it exactly so it definitely is something that um and we can we we do it really well we've been really successful we love being a part of the growth story and seeing um these companies grow and seeing our efforts being being a part of that it's it's really really rewarding Yes, I love that. I love it. Okay. Well, hey, we want to push. I, there's so much that work with your hands does. Um, there's so much more here. We don't have time on the, on the podcast to, to go over it all, but you can check them out. Go to uh, the Million Dollar Plumber uh, website. Mm -hmm. You can go to the Power Power, power Tools, Tools page. Right. Mm -hmm. And work all with right. your hands is right there. All right. And get a mm -hmm. direct link. Um, I do. I think they do uh, provide some uh, special offers or some incentives for uh, Potty Talk listeners. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. million dollar plumber clients. Mm -hmm. All right. So you can take advantage of those there, mm -hmm. but uh, schedule a time. Yeah. And, chat um, with them and see what they can right. do. And, and go with it. Ladies, thank you so much for taking the time here. There's so much here. I would love to be able to spend more time. And uh, we, we got time. the experts here. Yeah. We'll do it another time and dive deeper in some other areas, mm -hmm. but thank you for taking the time to be here. And yeah, I appreciate um, it guys. I, we had fun. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Our pleasure. All right. Take care. All right. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. I love talking to those ladies. I know. Super smart. All right. Mm -hmm. Very important stuff there. Mm -hmm. You know, we didn't have the time to go in, you know, deep into everything um, because there's so much there, mm -hmm. but the idea of, you know, recruit, 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 you know, I hope, I hope that we, uh, we, we yeah, gather drove that, that home. Drove yes. Right. And then also <laughs> the, the different things that um, smaller companies can do to be more attractive to potential employees. I think that there's some great, great ideas, but right. Right. Well, they work with, well, they work with some very big companies right. as well. I mean, mm -hmm. big companies, but I've, I've heard them say before, you know, as, as a small company, you know, we have gr a great opportunity to attract guys. Exactly. All right. Yep. We can offer a lot, mm -hmm. you know, and so um, a lot of good stuff there. Yeah. All right. So go back and, you know, listen, you know, yeah. if you didn't catch it all, mm -hmm. um, but you know, check them out. All right. Go, go to uh, the million dollar plumber.com website, go mm -hmm. to the power tool section, power tools page. And there's okay. a link to work with your hands where you can fill out a short form and, right. And they'll reach out to you. Also, somewhere on this, um, wherever you're listening to it, um, to this podcast, 
should be a link somewhere that you can get there as well. So. Yeah, so put a link somewhere, mm -hmm. point down somewhere. Or up here, I don't know where the link's <laughs> going to be, all right? But check it out mm -hmm. because you need to be recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Recruit, Effectively. recruit, recruit, okay? Effectively, yes. All right, and work with your hands um, um, are, are great. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they do a great job, so there we go. Okay. Hey, if you're looking, you know, to learn more about this and, and other things that you need to know, to run a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business, you need to check out my Million, million Dollar Plumber Success Academy, mm -hmm. all right, where we go over everything you need to know. It's all laid out there for you, over a, 150 classes, you know, over 100 hours worth of, of information, PDFs. It's all there. I don't want to overwhelm you, okay? And right now, you can check it out for free, a 14-day mm -hmm. free trial. That's true. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so check it out. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com, all right? And um, forward slash success. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Mm -hmm. And check it out. Okay. Hey. Get, get with the Academy. So there you go. All right. Great. Great, great episode, episode here. Yeah. All right. I love this stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, but before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully, wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. Come like a champion. Yeah.